Good day, Clint here. Just uh, heading to an old uh, series of plantation homes to see if I can find some relics, get the metal detector out, and do some digging. See you soon. The old uh, plantations along here uh, had to get relocated because the ground and the uh, water table became a bit too salty. So, um, yeah, they relocated them out to the other side of the Nine Mile Bridge. Uh, there's still some foundations and uh, rubbish piles and stuff like that laying around so hopefully uh, we might find a couple of treasures in amongst it today. See how we go. Sorry about the wind noise. Yeah, I'll try and avoid it if I can. But um, this is the first site that I'm going to check today. It's um, just an old plantation home. Just done a quick walk around and just picked up iron and whatnot that I could find, nails and stuff, so hopefully uh, I'll check around the front stairs and the, the toilet laundry area at the back there, maybe there was a clothesline, and we'll see what we can find. I'm trying to keep my back to the wind so it doesn't uh, annoy you too much, but I've got a bit of a signal here, a bit jumpy. I'll uh, dig it anyway and we'll see what we find. Yep. First target is just some junk, a bit of iron. And we'll carry on. Well, next find was a bit of a surface find, but a beautiful, colourful shard. Awesome. On to the next target. The next target. Seven seven eighty two. Well, we'll have a dig and see what we find. Rusty bottle cap. I'm screaming seventy seven here. We'll dig this one and see what we get. Yeah, well, no wonder it was screaming at me. It was a whopping great big chunk of lead. Yeah, there you go. On to the next target. As usual, you don't film the target. And it's a good one. What do we got? Looks like a penny. Give that a clean, get a date off it. Looks like a kangaroo penny actually. We got KG6. Oh, good find. Look at the next target. Better film this one, otherwise, it'll probably be another penny. Let's see how we go. I don't have anything to hold the camera while I dig, so um, I'll get back to you after I've had a dig. This time it's a nice piece of uh, melted lead. Cool. Okay, this target's out of the hole. So I don't have a pin pointer. No, I'll just do it the old fashioned way. be in there somewhere. Well, there we go. It'd be nice if it was a nugget, but I think it's just a little bit of lead or brass. Probably brass. For the numbers it was giving me. Anyway, on to the next target. Had a bit of a scratchy signal. I pulled out a, a nail and a little bit of aluminium. I've still got a, a target here in the hole. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. 
1945 penny excellent on to the next target and once again I didn't film that signal because it was crap it didn't sound good but I'll pull out another penny KJ6 something well, might be a 1954 possibly we'll have a look when we give it a clean excellent on to the next target well I've got a good 81 signal here it's probably my last target of the day let's see what we get Okay, we've got her out of the hole. Oh, what have we got here? Threepence. Nice. Nineteen forty-three. So should be nine two five silver. Lovely. Awesome coin to finish the day. All right. Fill me hole in and get out of here. Just a quick wrap up on what I got today. Um, that big strap of lead, whatever that was. Some various bits of melted metal, some lead and brass, I think. Um, and a little bullet shell, 22. Uh, a nice bit of pottery, which has got some really nice colours in it. Pretty happy with that. A lot of this stuff's probably not that old, but it's very nice. I like it. And uh, what have we got? Three pennies, 1942. 1951. A 1945 and 1943 threepence. So, yeah, very good day. I'm pretty happy with that. Thanks for watching.